Welcome to, uh, I don't know what we're going to call this. We're going to call this a customer spotlight I'm doing with my good friend and customer, Gary Amaral. Gary is a uh, marketing advisor for a customer of ours, Airborne app, and also a heavy user of SEMrush, which uh, we just launched a uh, integration with, and Gary has been testing for us uh, as we've been kind of working through getting that live. So I wanted to bring Gary on to really talk about how he's using it, how he's used SEMrush in the past, and where he's found uh, efficiencies in leveraging the two platforms together. So Gary, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, it's my pleasure as always. So I uh, obviously reached out to you as soon as I knew we were gonna be building the integration with SEMrush because I knew you were a, a user of the tool. Uh, tell me, take me through kind of how you've used SEMrush uh, historically and and then we'll jump into how you're using it today. Yeah, well, listen, I, I was super happy that you, that you reached out in general. I think, you know, yes, heavy user of SEMrush um, personally and then, you know, uh, across a bunch of different projects I work on and people that I work with, it's a tool that's crucial to a lot of what we do. But I was just happy to, to be reached out because of, you know, how much I'm loving working in Unstack in general. Um, you know, that tool with Airborne specifically has made our life a lot easier and it just keeps getting better. Um, so please keep reaching out as you uh, release new features and new capabilities because I'm digging it. Um, but in terms of in terms of SEMrush, um, lots of lots of uses, right? We use it for keyword research, uh, help guide content ideation, content creation. Um, we use it for competitor intelligence, understand what our competitors are doing, see what's happening with their traffic, um, understand their, their SEO as well as their SEM uh, strategies uh, as much as we can. Um, you know, we look for opportunities to build out our, our backlink uh, strategy where we should be reaching out to people. Uh, in order to get those links and really ramp up our our, our, our SEO juice. So, you know, the t I think how most people use SEM Rush. You know, we, we've built a few endpoints to start and we're pulling in a good amount of data. Uh, how has that changed your workflow? Because a lot of what you just mentioned is now available in Unstack. A few things are not, but uh, how, have you, how has it changed your workflow and content creation since you're now able to create content in Unstack and then also do some of the keyword research in there? Well, yeah, I, I think you've, you've kind of hit the nail on the head with your question. The reality is instead of having a flip between two screens, um, when we're working in the place where the content is being created, we have access to a lot of things that helps inform that content creation. So it just, uh, you know, reduces friction in that, in that process. It allows us to move a little bit more quickly. Um, and it's just a more pleasant experience. The, the, the reality is, from my perspective, and one of the reasons I was un attracted to Unstack in the first place, um, is that there's just too many tools, right? So, you know, I, I, I led a big team at Hootsuite for many years. Um, I was kind of the MarTech steward for that organization. And we literally had hundreds of pieces of technology. Um, that's just too much tech. So, you know, the more things you can do well in a single pane of glass, and not necessarily that those things are native capabilities of that tool, but the, the approach you guys are taking, right? Bringing SEMrush's SEO, SEM capabilities native into Unstack, making it feel like a native capability, just makes my life way easier. Yeah, I read an interesting stat, and I hate to use their name in this, but it's a good stat, so I'll give them credit for it from HubSpot which is that marketers right. lose five hours a week just in changing tools. Like just the mental shift it takes to go from working in Unstack's platform to working in SEMrush's platform, finding what you need and then going back is, is time consuming. So to have it in one spot is, is huge. And I've, I've certainly seen it. And, um, you know, I guess you're juggling a lot. So you've got a couple uh, either internal team members, interns, and then external team members, but you're doing a lot on your own uh, how has this sped up your your work? Do you feel like you have an hour amount you could tell me you've saved just by being able to do it all in one platform? Or, you know, was there one time where you were like, oh man, that just saved me a ton of time being able to dig into it really quickly and get it done? You know, hard question to answer, Zach, because, you know, you probably live the same life I do. There's days where I'm jumping across like 20 different things and 
the span of a few hours. And there's other days where I'm like hyper concentrated on a, on a task or a deliverable. Um, you know, we've, we've been working on building some longer form pillar pages for airborne. Um, and I've like locked down some concentrated time to do that. And I would say like, you know, in that four hour span, SEM, uh, the, the integration that you guys are offering, uh, the SEMrush and, and Unstack integration, probably save me like 30 to 45 minutes just between the like the going back and forth and the uh, transposing information and um, yeah so that you know that's a big chunk of time right when you're talking about a four hour window that's a that's a big chunk of time um, yeah and I think you know we're talking about time and saving time I think there's the time that you save as you're doing your job day to day but that then again there's the the the, the time you save um, more, um, on a, on a macro level, when you kind of, when you're building the right tools, when you're building your stack around the right tools that work together and you don't have to worry about migration, you don't have to worry about switching. You have, you know, everything that you need in a, in a much smaller footprint in terms of tech stack. Um, and the peace of mind that that brings, because, you know, well, I'm building out tech stacks at, a couple of different companies. Um, and that's a big part of the thought process, right? It's, it's are you going to grow out of this? Are you going to need something else? When is that going to happen? What's the tax uh, associated with doing that, both time and money? Um, and and the SEMrush Unstack integration is one of the like check boxes in terms of like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't have to go anywhere anytime soon. I love that. And, and I've talked about this with uh, some folks on your team, but when that pillar content is done, you can actually use the competitive research tools to figure out where to do some outreach to get backlinks for that, which I know you guys are going to be working on uh, and have done by getting a lot of contributors to uh, that that piece of pillar content. But you can do a really, you know, and we've used it a little bit in this way where we've got some interesting stats. We're trying to find where we can go and work with. They're not competitors, but it's it's labeled that in SEMrush. But use their, their kind of uh, backlink identifier to find the right places that have the right credibility to link back to us um, and that becomes you know more power for our content and more distribution for our content which is really exciting and i'm excited for your your piece of pillar content to come out lee took me through a preview of that uh, just the other day so i'm, I'm really bullish I'm yeah we're, we're looking forward market. to it we hope we really well one we think it delivers a ton of value to anyone who's looking to uh start build scale a lead gen uh, agency so, you know, that's that's super exciting. And then, you know, because of that, we really feel it's going to be impactful to to our business. So so super excited. Gary, thank you so much for joining me. We'll keep this brief, but I appreciate you coming on. I wanted to give the rest of our customers and prospects really a clear understanding of the efficiencies. And I think your story right there of creating pillar content, which is time consuming uh, and being able to do it more efficiently uh, with Unstack and SEMrush is exactly the kind of story that our customers need to hear to, to feel confident in jumping into this. So Gary, thank you so much for joining me today. My pleasure, Zach. Thanks so much for having me. Looking forward to uh, all the other features that I know you guys are working on really hard over at Unstock uh, and getting to play with those as they come out. Uh -huh.